20 minutes ride from this Masafi fort, you will reach to another man-made paradise in the desert. Stay tuned. All right, another half an hour ride from the fort, you'll reach this beautiful place. This is the UAE flower farm. It's fantastic. In this desert, they have everything. Let's check it out. Welcome to a world of color and beauty. Today, we are exploring the enchanting flower gardens of United Arab Emirates. From desert mirages to lush oases, join me as we discover these floral wonders. Well, who would have thought such vibrant colors could flourish in this arid climate? It's a true marvel of modern agriculture. Through advanced hydroponic and irrigation system, these farmers have managed to turn this barren land into floral paradise. From roses to lilies, tulips to orchids, the variety here is astonishing. Sustainability is at the core of the UAE flower farming. Solar power provides clean energy, while water recycling conserves precious resources. And let's not forget the buzzing ecosystem these farms support. Bees find a haven here, contributing to pollination and honey production. This place is not only for flowers, you see this beautiful animals here. Not only horses, there are many more. This farm had some beautiful horses and pony, and also some gazelles. I was lucky enough to touch and play with these horses, also with a pony who was very naughty. Beware, be very careful with this pony because it tries to bite your fingers off. So yeah, be a little careful when you play with this pony. UAE flower industry has blossomed into a significant economic contributor. These vibrant exports brings joy to people around the world and showcase nation's innovative spirit. It's a testament to human ingenuity and nature's resilience. Who would have thought that the desert could be such fertile ground for beauty? The UAE flower farm are a testament to human determination and celebration of nature's work. Thank you for joining us on the floral adventure, but wait, there is something interesting which I saw outside this farm, so stay tuned. That's an olive tree. Anyway, it's a beautiful place here. I enjoy it thoroughly. I've clicked some pictures. If you like to watch it, this is my handle. I'm
I'm placing it somewhere on the screen. You can go check it out. Anyway, if you're in Dubai and driving towards Fujero or Dibba, this place is must. And also one more thing, there are there is another two places here. Um, that is a cactus farm and a museum. I'm gonna check it out. Let's see how it goes. When I go to new places, I'm always curious to explore. And when I just walked past the farm and I saw this abandoned museum kind of place, I don't know because there was no one here, there was no collection and this place was beautifully preserved with all the ancient setups. I don't read Arabic, but looking at the setup, I felt that this is a museum to explain to us that this is how the Arabs lived those days. A rock hut, a bamboo house and wooden doors and then there were some mud vessels and wooden tables. It was totally empty and it had a different vibe to it. I could also see some wooden guns which was displayed there. To my surprise there was no one there. So I was just happy to explore these places peacefully. I could also see some shops with old TVs and uh, some crazy phones were there. So I was just feeling in one kind way that, oh my God, I'm a little bit old because when I was born, I could see these TVs at my place and now it becomes an ancient thing. Uh, I saw some mud houses and some prisons made out of mud walls. So yeah, this place was really beautiful. So if you're going to the flower farm, don't miss this museum next to the flower farm. Few meters away from this museum setup, you will find a beautiful cactus farm. And if you are a cactus lover, you can also purchase some cactus here. There were varieties of cactus and I was super surprised or astonished the amount of cactus varieties they had. I was like blown away. I never even in my life thought there were so many types of cactus and it was arranged in such a way that you can find the different varieties of cactus in this world. So it is so beautiful to see this.
and now we are reaching to the end of this vlog so if you're coming with your family or kids and you want to just get away from the buzzing city of dubai and then explore some quiet places then this flower farm cactus farm and the no man's museum is a really good place for you to visit please bear in mind this is a desert region so during summers i don't advise you to come to these places please choose between november to march where the weather is fine also during the rainy time because this is a mountain region there may be some flash floods so be very careful when you're coming with your family or kids other than that just plan your travel before you're coming to these places have a wonderful trip by visiting these flower farms and that's the end of the video guys this is freddy signing off